welcome to the world of sound! <laughs> sound is everywhere around you, and now you too can witness firsthand the wonders of sound. <laughs> Brought to you exclusively over the wondrous internet. We've chosen from a veritable library of sounds, the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. Imagine what your dim world would be like without sounds such as these. Now it's your turn. Or these. <laughs> or even these. Good evening, and welcome to Inventor's Hour. In the studio with me tonight is Mr. Gerald Scott of Seattle. He is here to tell us about his new invention. Good evening. Evening. Now, Gerald, before we get to your invention, would you mind telling our listeners what it is you do for a living? Yes, well, for the longest time now, I've been an ice cream truck driver, giving out goodies to the kiddies, blasting obnoxious melodies out of speakers. Basically, I'm doing God's work. I see. Well, Gerald, about this invention of yours... I call it the Batabulator. And what exactly does it do? Ah, as you can see, it looks like your average baseball bat. But press this button, and voila, now it's an upside-down baseball bat. I don't understand. See, who has time these days to flip a baseball bat around? With the Batabulator, there's no need for that. Just a press of the button, and it's ready for use, only upside-down. Think of the possibilities. Say you need to put a bat away in storage, but the cubby hole is too narrow to put it in right side up. No need to worry, because you have the potabi later. Excuse me, if I may interrupt, wouldn't I just be able to turn the bat myself? Well, yeah, if you want to waste a whole second of your life away, that's why the potabi later is such a fantastic gift to mankind. Uh-huh. What if, for an example, a grizzly bear was coming your way and you're holding your baseball bat by the swingy end, not the holding end? What do you do? I turn it. Not if the bear is already within a foot of you. Just press the button and you can defend yourself in a split second. You're pathetic. Look, it can be a matter of life or death. You can either turn it yourself and risk injury, or press the button and whack the bear. What if you can't find the button in time? It does have five buttons for easy locating. What if none of them are in immediate reach? The only way that would happen would be if you weren't holding the bat at all. There's a button on top, one on the bottom, three down the length of the bat. Look, that's not the point. The point is convenience. All major inventions for the last hundred years were based on filling a need. You need help. I need help? You obviously don't see the genius here. What if this technology were applied to other things? Such as? Spoons. Uh, press a switch and a hot soup will go back in the bowl, cooling it in the process. Uh, tables. A uh, button for easy cleanup. No more merciful housewives after dinner. Just think. A world where you'd never had to spin objects from an upright position to another. Hourglasses. You, you wouldn't have to turn those over ever again. You're a sad, sad man. Should have known your radio types would never see the brilliance of my vocabulary. I, I knew as soon as I was scheduled for the interview. Your whole network is a big pile of sh Well, speaking of which, here's a word from our sponsors. This summer, a movie like never before. A movie so unbelievable, so original, and so incredulous. You'll go, hot damn. The remake, too. Starring actors who haven't had work in years. The New York Times raves, Wow, it's like if a pile of feces grew legs, walked around, and started talking. Parade Magazine calls it proof that Hollywood has officially run out of ideas. And USA Today says, It's so convoluted, I don't know where to begin. The remake, too. Rated R, but marketed for 12-year-olds. 